Spartans, we have got an exciting collection opening today. Only, well, okay, it's exciting for me because I adore these boxes. I love the boxes. I love everything about them. Yes, it's, it's the Arena decks that are right in front of you, the Mega Charizard X and the Mega Blast Toys um, ar Battle Arena decks that have just been released about a couple weeks ago. And I just cannot get over the design of it, the colors that they chose to go along with it, the way that these two just connect and make like this whole little versus logo to make them look like that, you know, they're ready to fight each other. Like it's just, oh man, it's just amazing. And if anything, I'm, I, this is obviously going to be my favorite. You guys know me so far at this point. Blastoise is my thing. And I love this box so much that I most likely am going to buy a whole brand new one and just keep it sealed just because it's, Oh, it's just so beautiful like everything about this. Oh, I can't get over it Anyway, um, I haven't decided if I'm gonna go ahead and do two separate videos one for each of these or if I'm just gonna do This all-in-one video. So I guess for you guys, it'll be kind of a surprise at the end of it um, Or maybe not it depends on how I go about this, but we shall see I'm gonna open up mega Charizard X first and these again are the new battle arena decks we've gotten previous ones before with the um, Caldeo, the Darkrai, the Mewtwo uh, EX and all that, but this one they decided to go with the classic starter Pokemon Charizard and, and Blastoise because uh, of course Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee's coming out and that's going to feature all Kanto Pokemon. So of course they would kind of do a little promotion there and get us hyped up for, uh, for those things. All right, so here we go. Mighty Mega Charizard X battles for victory. Mega Charizard X is ready to heat up the battlefield in the new Pokemon TCG Battle Arena deck. This 60 card uh, deck is ready to play right away with powerful cards and winning strategies worthy of an ace trainer. Each deck is led by an exceptional Mega Evolution Pokemon EX and includes 11 foil cards. Let the battle begin. And there are, apparently there's a lot of stuff in here. So let's go ahead and check this out. Um, I think I'm supposed to open it from the top. Nope. Now, what's really cool is that the the trainer card that you saw there, the professor's letter, is actually an alternate art one, um, but the other two are not from what I saw at first glance. It didn't look like it had that little A circle to it. And man, they are doing wonders with the glue lately with their Pokemon products. These are getting harder and harder to open up. Oh, okay. So there's a lot going on here. Okay, all right, all right. So let me put this box off to the side. So we get the, the play mat, which if I'm not mistaken, should look pretty sick and most likely I'm gonna use it just for the blast toy side of things, but let me see. Yep, okay. All right, uh, it is not the most appealing thing. Actually, that's pretty much it. Sorry, I'm trying to get this opened up and kind of laid out for you guys. Um, not as grand as I thought it was gonna be. I really thought they were gonna have like the mascots as like big uh, background templates, but I guess not. It's just uh, those little icons there on the side, um, but not too bad. It's kind of cool. I think it's one of the better um, play mats that they give you with usually. And here are the tokens for it. Here's a little, I guess, snippet of it. Let me see, Battle Arena deck, Mega Charizard X, Mega Blast Toys, so some info about them. Okay, pretty cool. All right, and let's get on to the main stuff here. Now the coin looks awesome. I already caught a glance at the coin. It looks pretty sweet. So let's take a good look, look at the coin first. All right, that is actually really awesome. The fact that he's just breathing fire out. They have his whole look in there. That's actually pretty cool. For any Charizard fan, you definitely got to pick this up. Like, yeah, it's got rotated cards, but come on. Like, this is pretty sweet. So let's take a look at the uh, alternate art professor's letter. This was a really good card back in the day. Search your deck for up to ba two basic energies, reveal them and put them into your hand and shuffle your deck afterward. And we know it's an alternate art because it's got that A, but sadly it is out of rotation. Breakthrough, this was the last time it came out. Um, breakthrough has been since rotated since it's all sun and moon stuff. I'm glad people out there like sell individual code cards in case people just want to get those instead of like the whole thing. All right, here's the Charizard EX. And as you can tell, it is not an alternate art because it, it, it would have that little A circle to it. Um, 12 out of 106, this, this is the act, it's, a, it's just the actual card from the set. It's a reprint of it, but it, it's everything else is the same. Same thing with this Mega Charizard um, EX, which is pretty sweet as well. 
Again, 69 out of 106, no alternate art reprint logo on it. So that is pretty awesome. I know the secret rare for this, I think it still holds a fairly high value. Um, obviously they would not reprint that because then, well, everyone would get that and then the value goes down. But that defeats the whole purpose, I guess, of collecting them. Oh yeah, that's right, I forget that these, these decks come with foil cards, foil um, energy cards. Oh, I'm gonna have foil water energies, yes. Yes, all right, I, I'm, I'm excited, I'm excited. All right, let's take a look at what's inside this deck here. Obviously, fire energies, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just like they said on the box. Uh, let's see what the cards, Embor, I'm not familiar. So this is gonna include cards I think I'm not familiar with. Um, as often as you like during your turn, you may attach a fire energy card from your hand to one of your Pokemon. Oh, that's pretty neat. I'd forgotten that existed. Um, Fennekin, Dunsparce, Delphox, uh, Professor Sycamore, and uh, Zorua, Rare Candy, Dark Energy, Fisherman, and Skarmory, Karen, Scorched Earth, Tape Pig, Bridget, used to be a really good card, um, Dark Fire again, Weakness Policy versus Seeker, Ultra Ball, Tierno, Superior, yeah, these are actually really decent decks. Pokemon Communication, okay. Uh, Lysander versus Seeker, Floatstone, uh, Delinquent, Ultra Ball, Zoroark with the stand-in ability, okay. Yeah, this is not a bad deck at all. Um, so you only get the one, the one Charizard EX and the one um, Mega Charizard EX with this. Uh, but this is pretty sweet, I, I, I dig it. I'm not a huge Charizard fan, but I, I kinda like this deck. Uh, and then you can get the little deck box with it, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna actually put all this stuff back in here. Uh, so that way, I forget how this goes. I think it goes like that. Um, so that way we kinda minimize the mess here a little bit. Pretty sure it was like that. Boom, cool. All right, backwards design here, guys. I'm trying to make sure I keep things organized. I'm gonna figure out, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this. So let me put this off to the side and let's go ahead. You know what? Let's just do it. Let's just do it all one video. Let's open up the Mega Blast Toys deck because I just can't wait anymore. I, I really need to, to see what's in here. All right, Mega Blast Toys is making a clean sweep. Mega Blast Toys is ready to blast away all opposition in the new Pokemon TCG Battle Arena deck. This 60 card deck is ready to play right away with powerful cards and winning strategies worthy of an ace trainer. Each deck is led by an exceptional Mega Evolution Pokemon EX and includes 11 foil cards. Let the battle begin. All right. Now this one also comes with an alternate art trainer card. Um, it's a Delinquent, which uh, we've gotten a full art for now in that big XY um, premium collection box. And I think it's only had like one reprint since. And now it's got an alternate art print to it. I'll put this box here. Uh, we've already taken a look at this stuff here. I mean, it's all the same for all the deem, uh, for the arena decks, so we don't need to go through that again. But let's go ahead and take a look. Oh, please let me see this Mega Blastoise coin. Please let me see this Mega Blastoise coin. Oh my goodness. It is so beautiful. This is my favorite coin. Well, I think there's a Blastoise coin that exists out there, which I don't have my hands on yet, so I gotta get on that. But still, I think as of right now, this is my favorite coin ever. Oh. I have to buy another one of these arena decks just because it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. I think I still have like a Blast Toys. Um, no, I, I know I do still have a Blast Toys Generations box still sealed. Uh, it's actually sitting in my classroom. Uh, I just, I, I, I bought two because I just couldn't, I, I don't want to open one because I want it sealed. It looks beautiful. Here is the alternate art for the Delinquent. I guess uh, she's giving uh, Puchiana a bath and Puchiana's not being cooperative. Uh, Delinquent was pretty sweet. You get to discard uh, the stadium card, but you're also discarding your opponent's three cards from his or her hand. So that was pretty pretty annoying when uh, your opponent was able to pull that off on you, especially after like, they use Judge or something like that. Here's the Blastoise EX, um, probably the most commonly played one. Rapid Spin was not that bad. And if you get the three energies for Splash Bomb, that was pretty decent. And then here is the Mega Blastoise EX with the Hydro Bombard one. That's the one that does the 120 to the active and 30 to two of your bench, uh, your opponent's bench Pokemon, which was used more often than the other. So pretty sweet. Again, let me know exactly what you guys get because I'm curious as to, you know, do you get 
you get, I'm, I'm assuming you get the coin, the box, um, the foil cards, the whole deck maybe, maybe. I don't know, I, I, I've never redeemed one. And here are the beautiful, beautiful foil water cards. Oh gosh, yes, okay, all right, I'm, I'm happy, I'm happy. Oh, these look so nice. All right, these are definitely gonna be added in my deck. All right, Empoleon with the uh, diving draw. So that's to discard your hand, draw two cards, okay. The Manaphy, uh, an Octillery, okay, all right. Draw power is definitely needed. Propagation, uh, execute. Uh, splash energies in here, that's interesting. Uh, Skyla versus Seeker, N, more splash energy. Sycamore versus Seeker, Piplup, Rough Seas. Um, oh, they included Professor's Letter, but not even that. They included the alternate art, so that's pretty nice. Grass energy? Did, did we just... Oh, the, the execute, though. I don't know. Let's keep looking to see what why we would need that grass energy in there. Uh, muscle Band, Mega Turbo, of course. Max Elixir, of course, uh, for that energy acceleration. Um, here we go. Verizion, or Verizion. I don't know how you guys say it. Uh, double draw, draw two cards, leaf wall up during your next turn. This Pokemon's leaf wall does 40 more. That's not bad. Lapras, and Octillery again, and another Empoleon. Whew. So, obviously, I'm going to be biased here and pick this as my favorite one. But you guys let me know down in the comment section which one you guys like. This is pretty sweet. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm going to go ahead and put this back in the box, and we'll go ahead and display both together but yeah let me like i said let me know which one you guys thought was the better box of the two i know there are a huge number of charizard fans out there in the world i get it he's cool he was the closest thing to a dragon that you guys got um in the original pokemon games until we actually got a dragon which was dratini but you know charizard was the closest looking thing and then there we go. Here are both boxes together. They're just beautiful, guys. They are beautiful. You have to pick these up. I mean, I understand they don't really give you anything for standard, but I pick one up, your favorite one. I mean, come on. If you're a true diehard Charizard fan, give me a good reason why you would not want to pick this up. I'm a true diehard Blastoise fan, and I'm going to pick this up, and I know I'm not going to be able to use the cards in it. But... Yeah, again, let me know down in the comment section which one's your favorite. Um, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Um, please like, subscribe, comment, all the other YouTube jargon stuff. And uh, yeah, this is going to be a fun week. Uh, I'll see y'all in the next box opening for the Evolution Tins. That's what should come up next.